Administrator Profile The administrator has access to all reporting functions plus the capability to configure the portal for the organization. The configuration functions include user management, base table configuration and portal customization. Your team availability app has been created, and now you need to configure and customize it. Go to the web page and select new user slash forgot password, the reset password page loads. After password definition, go back to the login page and log in. You are the first user, the portal will guide you directly to the edit profile page. At this time you will not be able to fill the information since basic configurations are missing. Start by portal customization. Select config and customize. Add your logo and customize colors and pre and post status messages. Go to config and statuses. Create new statuses using the add new record button. Fill in all required information and confirm. Now we can translate one of the statuses. We can use the working from home and a new line to support Portuguese users. All configuration tables work the same way, including multi-language support. Move to config departments. Like statuses, we can create new departments. Let's us quickly add a new department, we can call it admin. One additional feature that will be important when setting up the new users. Notice the ID column? That column will be relevant when you need to import users. Create locations by selecting config locations. Let's quickly add new locations. Add new location, select responsible, with report user level the responsible will be able to get a report on the location. Setting up user accounts. Select the users menu. From the user configuration page the admin can create new users. Press add new record button. The edit user page appears. Now you can fill in user information. Required information is email and department. The second way to create users, and more straightforward when you have to import several users, is the upload function. You can start by downloading the existing data and use it as a template. Download, and open it on the tool of your choice. You can reference a user to a department by using that on the appropriate column in the department ID. You can also use level ID column to set user level. For standard user use level set to zero or nothing. For report profile set user level to one and finally, use level two for administrators. You can build a hierarchy by using the manager column. If a manager is also a report user, he will be able to have report details on his team. Save you file, select it from the file system and hit upload. New users will be added, and errors will be presented to the page. Now that we have set up the basic configuration, we can check the result. Move to the My Status and check the result. You get the pre and post message, you have the created statuses and applied end date and message pop-ups. Now the app is ready. Users can start the onboarding process.